And we are back with Mr. Will Hooley of the San Diego Legion. And uh, Will, I'm, I don't know if you're familiar with this segment. It's basically where I try to tear down a San Diego Legion member brick by brick by asking them questions that they might not know the answers to or they might know the answers to. So the San Diego Legion fans can get to know you a little bit better. How's that? Oh, well, hopefully it's easy enough. We, we shall see. All right. And before we get into that, I just want to say I, I want to wish you well. I know that you've been injured and I hope you're coming back soon. Yeah, no, it's unfortunately all part and parcel of the sport. I've been been around long enough to to know it. Yeah, I was probably struggling for a few weeks, and um, yeah, just um, something which is a little bit of a niggle that I have to sit out and get right. Um, but hopefully, should be back soon and uh, back stronger, which I think is the main thing for me. All right, I don't know if you're going to be able to recover from this line of questioning, though. So that might keep you out for the rest <laughs> of the year. Let's get oh, right yeah. to it. Northampton, Exeter, or Saracens? Oh my word! <laughs> One word answer to this. I have brilliant times at all three of those clubs. You know what? I'll go with Northampton. It was my it was my start starting club. I okay. I was there from the age of twelve. Won a premiership there. Uh, played with some absolute greats, the likes of Samu Minoa, obviously yeah. a US legend. Um, and I was young. I was just you know not caring the world. And I've got to say on a rugby front, that some unbelievable memories. Yeah. Franklin Gardens, right? Up there were probably one of the best venues in rugby, I'd say. Uh, you know, a bit biased, but uh, yeah, hell of a play. I don't think you get too many arguments. Who's the mayor of San Diego? Oh, who's the mayor of San Diego? Um, it's a toss-up, to be honest, between two good mates of mine, Nate Osberger and uh, Ryan Maddy, I've got to say. <laughs> what a um, diplomatic answer. No, I was looking I for know. Todd Gloria. No, <laughs> no, there's, look, I've got to, I've got to pick my, my boys, but also there's the likes of Nate Sylvia. He, he's been around the block a long time since, since year one, a, a local boy as well. So, but yeah, I can't decide between those two. That's too right. hard. Well, unfortunately, your answer is a good one, except that we were actually literally, literally looking for the mayor of San Diego. So now I'm going to give you a chance <laughs> to redeem yourself. Who is the governor of California? Oh, no. Honestly, I honestly it's not Chris Bowman. It is not Chris Bowman. Is it not? Oh, I swear he's in politics. I swear with that mullet. Um, honestly, the top of my head, I don't know. I really try and keep my, my political way about me out of the question. So I'm not even going to pretend I know the name. So All sorry. Right. Gavin Newsom is the governor of California. Yes, good friend of mine, actually, Gavin. Yeah, so yeah, you got, yeah, um, sorry you about that. You, you, he's, a, he's such yes, a natural cool. guy. You don't realize that he could be a governor. Yeah, right? yeah. exactly, exactly. And he, and he thinks you're a janitor, so it just works perfectly. <laughs> uh, Something like that. Name a San Diego Padre. Well, right, this is a bit unfair, Matt. But <laughs> even no, no, no. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen, so. I'm actually going to, I'm planning to go to my first Padre visit to Petco Park on Friday. Um, I give you partial nothing... credit for saying Petco Park. You do get partial yeah, credit for that. I, I get partial credit, but I don't know. I, I'm not a baseball man at all. You, you speak to me about NFL, I'm more on the ball. But unfortunately, baseball is, yeah. I'll be going on Friday, though, so all right. I'll look, I'll look up some names. Okay, brush up, because you never know when this is going to happen again. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's embarrassing, isn't it? You, you not only played for those teams that we mentioned earlier, the Northampton Saints, the Exeter Chiefs, and Saracens, which just goes by Saracens. Um, yes. And folks at home, it's on you to find out what a Saracen actually is. But you also are a star for Team USA. What is your eagle number? Oh, this, is, this is the easiest one. My eagle number is number 517. Ding, ding, ding. You are correct, sir. Who's the worst dresser on the San Diego Legion? Oh, I'm gonna go with Bowman. I don't think he really knows. I don't think he really knows what he's wearing. Yeah, he week. doesn't care. You know, exactly, that's exactly. The thing. But that, but you know what though? That's what I love about him. So we'll go with Bowie. But at the same time, um, it's what I love about him as well. He's just right. a character, you know. Follow-up question though: Who's the worst dresser that actually cares about what they look like when they dress? <laughs> um, probably be myself, I guess. Oh, not that he's... I care about what I, not what I care about what I look like, but I, I realise like even my wife's turning around to me and being like, "You need to get out of those clothes. You've worn them for years." I was like, I, I don't really like shopping for clothes anyway, so yeah. um, I'll probably put myself in there just because I'm, um, yeah, I should be probably more fashionable. At least my wife thinks that. What do you think of my um, Giltini's get up here? Because I lost a bet. 
Well, if you lose a bet, then you, at least you're an honest man. Uh, but uh, no, you know what? It's, it suits you. It suits your color. Thank you. Thank you. You're a good man. Who is yeah. the one guy on your team that if you had to walk into a dark alley, you'd want in front of you? Probably Ma. The thing is with, with Ma is that he's, he's a character. He, he's like a big kid. But like when he's switched on or he's annoyed about something, he just gives that like glare. Yeah. And you're like, right, yeah, I'll shut up. Or yeah, right, I'll do that. Um, yeah, so he'd have my back. Well, I like to think it have my back. It probably just push a posh Englishman into into trouble and just forget. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hopefully what? not. Hopefully what? not. A Kiwi and an English guy? Come on. Yeah, exactly. Thick it's, of the uh, it goes it goes way back. Tom Wealth, you name it. Nah, yeah. I, I, I back Ma to to help me out. I reckon. All right. Here's the final question for you. Since you're actually from Cambridge, correct? That is correct. Yep. That makes you automatically smarter than most people on this planet so <laughs> here's my question yeah if a plane crashes on the border of scotland and wales where do they bury the survivors <laughs> well you can't there's no border between wales and scotland so there you go oh okay but you also don't bury survivors <laughs> you don't bury survivors <laughs> What question is that, man? That was a, that uh, was yeah. a catch. That was the tricky up question. People mostly get the second part of that right, by the way. You got the first part of it right. And then was not clever enough to know the second part. Oh, oh dear. Oh, well. that's, that's, that's where my university at Buffalo English degree of five years comes in handy. <laughs> Right. Yeah. All right. So let's let's talk team. You guys took it. That was a hard loss, a uh, tough loss this week against Austin. There was some promise. But what, how about what's going forward? Where, where do you see you guys going? Ridiculous question, yeah. I know. No, 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 no. It's, um, look, obviously, it's always tough watching from the sidelines uh, myself, the injured position I'm in. But um, we came off the back, obviously, with some confidence against Utah. Uh, pretty good performance away from home. And I think there were large parts of that game the other day against Austin where we were, we were on top. A credit to the Austin team. They stuck at it, and I thought they played... I played very well in this sort of latter part of the second half. Good mate of mine, uh, Marcel Brachy, I thought was outstanding at 13. He really pulled the strings for Austin and deservedly got mad at that. Yeah, I think, look, it, it comes down to maybe like how we can put teams away. Yes, like all teams in the MLR probably at the moment, we, we're struggling with a few injuries. Uh, but at the same time, we put ourselves in good positions. Uh, and I think it really just comes down to how you keep that sort of foot on the throat. Maybe that little bit of focus that time of, of um, doing the right thing at the right time or just not giving away a silly penalty that allows them to get back in. It's fine margins and I'm really noticing noticing that with the MLR. It, there's no fluidity to these games sometimes. It's great for the neutral because it's just one end to the other. But when you're playing, it can be, it can be hard to control. But we'll have to pick ourselves up uh, because the second half of the season is all in front of us. So you've been around. You've played in some very good setups professionally. What? How does this compare? Look, first and foremost, the MLR is is a fantastic competition. I, I, I'm really surprised, probably with just the the skill level, uh, the know-how uh, of teams. Um, considering this competition is only what five years old, I know yeah. it does have players, you know, all over the globe. But also this, like the American talent coming through, the, the youngsters, the, these guys who are just first year out of the draft or you know or out of college, really making an impact. And I would say honestly, like it's right up there with the skill set, the speed. Like I just said before, though, it's probably about that fluidity um, in in the games. Probably back home in in the top leagues, you know, when you're on top, you stay on top, and and you know how to close out games. And maybe there's. That's not quite there in the MLR, but it makes it really exciting. Um, but as I say, it, it's something which I, I have to admit in the first half of the season, it's probably not been all plain sailing for me personally and for us as a team and a bit inconsistent. And that's probably a largely down to the fact of just really getting to know this, this league because it's tough. It really genuinely is tough. And um, the travel, the, the intensity big country, of travel. Right. Oh, I mean, we did New York, I think. Well, you know, we did New York yeah. in about 48 hours. Yeah. And it, we went from about 75 Fahrenheit down to 40 right. or even lower than in the 30s. No, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was lower. It was in the 20s yeah, when yeah. you came in. Yeah, yeah. it was. Oh, and, and well, with the wind as well, probably right. felt even lower than that. So, like, yeah, it, there's a lot of challenges. Um, but I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. And um, personally, probably want to perform better because I know as a team we want to perform better. But, it, but it's a tough league. And you know what? Win or lose, 
If you if you're on the road, you get to go back to San Diego, whereas I got to stay here in 20 degree <laughs> weather. So it's you know you you're doing it right, kid. You're doing it right. I I have to admit I am enjoying California. My wife and I are very happy where we are, but aren't we? Little different than Exeter, right? The weather's slightly different. <laughs> A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, slightly yeah, different. Little All right. bit indeed. Well, best of luck going forward. We're rooting for you. I'm always a fan. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me.